this part three, because we're going to double jeopardy round. Both with the next spot. For $600. Cool. X amount of spots. Is a public disclosure of the written of a, of a scandal or crime? That's what I'm not too sure about. An expose. Okay. X amount of spots for 800 the show of a lobster is an example of this supporting structure. Contestant what is the exoskeleton? Yes. Yes. Select again. Let's finish our X spot for a thousand. For a thousand dollars. It's the department in the treasury that collects, manages, and disburses government funds. Okay, this one I'm not too sure about, so I don't know about it. But that was a nice little one I had with those three clues. So I'm up to 1500 It was the department of the exchequer. Oh, probably for 200 on September 8th, 1951, in San Francisco, 48 nations signed a peace treaty with this country. Contestant number two. I want to say France. I don't think it's the United States. Oh, he doesn't know. Sorry. Robert doesn't know. That's incorrect. It was Japan. Probably for 400. $400. William James Bynum won his last court case at this man's trial. I'm not too sure about this one. It was John Scopes. Probably for 600. A disease also called Sagan Paul's name for this 19th century English doctor who first described it. I want to say cerebral palsy. Contestant number three. Let's see if uh, Bobby knows it. She doesn't know either. She goes in the negatives. To so minus 100. Okay, I don't know the name of the doctor though. Doctor James Parkinson, like Parkinson's disease, probably for eight hundred. Sigmund and Sigling are the parents of this title character of a Wagner opera. This one I don't know either. Siegfried. Probably for a thousand. The answer is... The Occupational Safety and Health Administration is also known by this acronym. Contestant number two. Let's see if Robin, uh, Robin knows it. O-C-H-S-A? OSHA. Okay. Yes. That's correct. I was thinking that. Okay. So he goes up to 2800. Alright, so we're gonna go to the next. He begins to pick the next election. In the news for six hundred. six hundred dollars. The unofficial U.S. Census found one hundred seventy million five hundred twenty thousand of one of these, and one hundred forty six three thousand six million six hundred sixteen thousand can program it. I want to say a computer. But I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna try. I'm not too sure about it. Ah, VCR. It's a lot of people. Poetry poetry for a thousand. See, call B's buzz. What is a buzz in a poem number 1405? I'm guessing Emily Dickinson. Just a guess. I was Emily Dickinson's. Wow. 
I got that right. That was the total gas too. Point to point with four hundred. The answer is. T.S. wrote, "This is the way the world ends with not with a bang, but with this." Test number two. See, Robin knows it. A whimper. Okay. Good job. Food and drink for six hundred. Six hundred dollars. The Yorkshire tire of this is often served with roast beef. Try it. Contestant number one. What is pudding? Yes. Oh, twenty one hundred. I'm gonna stick with food and drink for two hundred. Ocean Spray says some Indians call this food sesame and uh, it uses juice of arrow wounds. Try it. What is a cranberry? Yes! Yes, select again. We'll stick with Florida Drink for 400. For 400 dollars. An ice cream dessert or a little deuce car? That's what I'm so sure about. I'm thinking of banana split, but I'm not gonna try it. A coupe. All right. Food for eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. Coffee is cultivated on this Asian island, whose name is synonymous with coffee. Test number two. I'm not too sure about this one. Java Island. Ah, that makes sense. Good With the 4,000. Gotta catch up to Robert. At least try to. Cause these clues are not easy. In the news for a thousand. On March 19, 19, 19, 19, 1991, the U.S. government granted the five millionth one of these. Test number two. Let's see if Robert knows. A pattern. Mm, okay. Yes. So it's a five thousand now. Yeah. All right. No problem. In the news for two hundred, which is one of the two daily doubles. The answer there is one of the two daily doubles. How much is he going to wager? How much would you like to bet? He's gonna wager fifteen hundred. All right, fair enough. On the June nineteen ninety one shuttle mission, NASA sent up almost twenty five hundred of these spineless creatures. Frogs? He doesn't know. I wouldn't know this one either. No, I'm afraid that is not correct. Jellyfish. On the why? Sci-Fi TV for 200. $200. A 14 long, wo long wooden model of this Star Trek starship now hangs in the Smithsonian. What is the Enterprise? Contestant number one. Yes. yes that's correct. 2500 now. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, let's finish up for a drink for a thousand. For a thousand dollars. By law, butter sold in the U.S. must be at least 80% of this. Contestant number three. Let's see if Bowen knows it. Butter fat. Oh, so now she's out of the hole. For 900. Yes, that's correct. All right. In the news of 400. Oh, the other did though. Oh, I'm, the there was one two consecutive clues in the same category. How much is Bola going to wager? How much would you like to bet? She's gonna wager a hundred only. Okay, that's fair. 
The next thing I want to celebrate the 150th anniversary of this award, Britain put up a Triceratops on a stand. Alright, stay tuned for part 4. We're gonna figure out what the answer to this is. is.